With the opening of schools for the first term, there is growing concern over the manner in which the government and private entities are disbursing money meant for bursaries. A significant number of needy children are yet to get the much-needed financial support and are stuck at their home with their parents and guardians. And TV's Lois Wangoi now reports on the plight of learners who have missed bursary funding. At Eldoret Union Primary School, we meet Virginia Kathule, who has mined the top scorers in the 2023 KCPE results at this public school. She was admitted to Loreto Matunda Secondary School, but is yet to join school for lack of funds. This bright girl has readmitted herself back to primary school. This week, which is week three of our academic calendar, the girl came back to school. We thought she was just coming for clearance purposes only to establish that the girl wanted to repeat uh, grade 8. Baada ya kujaribu kujua, baada ya kachulikana kwamba kume mtoto huyu ni total orphan. Mtoto huyu ana mzazi, mwalimu alijitolea kukaa nae nyumbani. Virginia Kathule is an orphan and so her teachers were quick to apply for bursaries for her from both government and private sector. And even though this orphan scored 369 marks, she did not get any bursaries. Yet she presented all the required documentation for bursary, including her mom's death certificate. Ambayo sasa mtoto huyu kona death certificate ya mamake, lakini ufadhili haupo kumwezesha kwenda shuleni. Kama shule na watoto wameweza kuchanga kiwango ile wameweza. Lakini sasa bado inaonekana mtoto huyu ndoto zake kutimia bado itahitaji msaada kutoka yeyote yule atakayesikia. On this day the government released 1.5 billion shillings money is to be used for affirmative action groups grants and bursaries for needy children. So the question is what criteria is being used in disbursing bursaries? If an orphan like Virginia Kathure has missed out on both government and private sector bursaries opportunities. At Kapkiben area or Sengishu County, we meet Jessica Cherop and her children going about their afternoon house chores. Among them is Shadrach Kipruto, who scored 371 marks and was to be admitted at Metiete Boys Secondary School, but is stuck at home for he lacks school fees. His mother says she has made attempts at both government and private bursaries with no luck. In a press statement by the Ministry of Gender, Culture, Arts and Heritage, the government noted that part of the 1.5 billion shillings for affirmative action would cover school bursaries for learners from needy and vulnerable households as per the mandate of the National Affirmative Action Fund. But on ground, more and more needy children are stuck at home with no school fees such as a Victor Omondi. Alipata alama ya 351 yenye alipata. Kwa hiyo niliona ni, nitafute jinsi yenye huyu mtoto wangu anaenda shule. Sioni natafuta upande na upande, sioni penye naisafikia. Mimi niliomba mwenye anizanisaidia atusaidie kwa sababu mama ana pesa. Ni kustruggle tu ndio apate pesa hata ya chakula. Na ni single mother. Could corruption have crept its way to the merits of qualifying for bursaries, whether government or from private players, consequently knocking out the genuinely needy students who worked hard in school, achieved impressive grades, amidst all the challenges they suffered? Luis Ongoy, NTV.